Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about C Sharp compiler explanation. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, let us understand the basic. What is a compiler? A compiler is like a translator. Imagine you are speaking English, but your friend only understands French. You need a translator to convey your message. Similarly, a compiler translates high-level programming languages into machine code. Why C-sharp needs a compiler? C-sharp is a high-level language, meaning it's closer to human language than your machine. For your computer to execute C-sharp code, it needs to be in a format it comprehends and that's where our compiler steps in. Okay, now the compilation process. So number one is writing the code. As a developer, you start by writing your code in this. This is the high level language that you and other developers can easily understand. So second is in the flowchart compilation to IL. Once you are ready to build or compile your project, the C sharp compiler comes into play. It takes your high level C sharp code and translates it into intermediate language. IL is a lower level platform agnostic representation of your code. Think of it as a universal language that can be understood by any .NET compatible platform. So number third is in the flowchart is storing the IL. The, this IL code is then stored in a file typically with a DLL or XZ. So extension depending on whether you are building a library or an executable application. This file is saved on your disk and is ready to be executed or used by other programs. So number four in the flowchart execution time JIT compilation. When you decide to run your application, the IL isn't directly executed by your machine's processor. Instead, another crucial player enters the scene. The just-in-time compiler, the JIT compiler, takes the IL code and translates it into machine code, a language that your computer's processor understands. So why JIT? The beauty of JIT compilation is its on-the-fly nature. Instead of translating the entire application's IL to machine code at once, it only translates the parts of IL that are needed that at the moment. This ensures efficient and optimized execution. So number six is running the machine code. So once the JIT compiler has done its job, the machine code is executed by your computer's processor, bringing your application to life. Number seven is end of execution. After the ac application has run and completed its task, the machine code is discarded. The next time you run the application, the JIT compilation process happens again, ensuring the most optimized execution for that specific run. So here's the reference flow chart for it. You can see it. All the points are explained. All right, how C Sharp compiler stands out. Just in time compilation. Unlike some compilers that translate code uh, all at once, the c -sharp compiler uses just-in-time compilation. It translates code as needed, ensuring faster execution. Integration with .NET, the c -sharp compiler works seamlessly with the .NET framework, offering plenty of tools and libraries for developers. Okay, now, here are some FAQs for listeners. What is the primary role of the c -sharp compiler? The main role of the c -sharp compiler is to translate high-level C# -sharp code into machine-readable format. So why is just-in-time compilation beneficial? JID compilation translate code as when required, ensuring faster and more efficient execution. Can I use the C# -sharp compiler for other languages? No. The C# -sharp compiler is specifically designed for the C# -sharp language. 
So is the, it is C Sharp compiler platform dependent? While C Sharp was initially Windows centric, thanks to .NET Core, you can now run C Sharp on various platforms. How does a C Sharp compiler handle errors? The compiler flags errors during the compilation process, allowing developers to rectify them before execution. And the last question is, what is the difference between a compiler and an interpreter? A compiler translates the entire code at once while an interpreter translated line by line during the execution. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the C Sharp compiler, how it works, what is the compilation process. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.